Moving on then, uh, Tata Steel and the UK government have jointly agreed on a proposal to invest in the UK steel industry. This will make it the largest deal yet in the industry in the country. CEO and MD TV Narendran says, and I quote, the proposed project with one of the largest investments in the UK steel industry in recent decades provides an opportunity for an optimal outcome for all the stakeholders. My colleague Anurag Joshi is also here joining in with more details on that. Take it away, Anurag. Tata Steel and the UK government have reached an agreement over investment in a state-of-the-art electric arc furnace uh, steel making uh, facility at Port Talbot. Now this facility will replace an existing plant uh, at the same site uh, which Tata Steel has cited for the inefficiencies and a surge in costs uh, and losses that uh, the uh, Tata Steel UK has had to incur over the last few years. Uh, Tata Steel and the UK governments had been in negotiations uh, over the investment. Uh, this investment will be 1.25 uh, billion pounds, uh, in which includes a 500 million pound uh, grant from the UK government. Now, in a conference call with analysts, uh, the Tata Steel management said that the new plant will lead to cost savings of 150 to 170 pounds per ton uh, from after the new the new facility is constructed, and uh, the UK government is uh, ready to pro provide the policy support. Now, Tata Steel, uh, the parent company, will have to uh, provide for the restructuring and is going to make uh, and will have to provide for any uh, all the cash losses which the existing facility has had to incur uh, on the bright side the management says that the internal cost or the internal rate of return they're expecting would be around 15 to 16 percent uh, after covering the cost of capital uh, due to the construction of the new plant